Pharmacy. This is Christy. How may I help you? Pharmacy phone lines have blown up and elderly and at-risk Texans have lined up in hopes of getting vaccines in high demand but low supply. There are like 8 million people in 1B across the state. Stephen Williams is Houston's health director and a member of the state's vaccine allocation panel, which helps decide the order of who gets vaccinated. The 1A group describes healthcare employees working directly with patients or who interact with symptomatic patients plus long-term care residents. But North Texas's largest hospitals are going further. Texas Health Resources, Parkland, John Peter Smith, and Children's Health say they're vaccinating all employees, including those not seeing patients or working from home. Baylor Scott and White wouldn't answer if they're vaccinating all employees, but wrote all employees have been considered essential health care workers. Cook Children's declined to comment, and UT Southwestern never responded. One A would be those individuals who are directly serving patients who Particularly, I think it starts out by saying those individuals who, in fact, are, are, are treating COVID patients. Williams says it does include staff working in patient areas. Children's Health said in an email it's vaccinating family members for all employees, too. They say it'll help stop community spread, but Williams says they shouldn't be ahead of those 65 and older or with health issues. I, I think the average person would question that, uh, especially when we've laid out a criteria that says that we want to target those individuals that are, are most vulnerable. Texas Health says they feel they're following the state's rules. Parkland and JPS says it allows them to move staff into new roles. My opinion is that a 1A provider is someone who is actually in clinical environments where they're exposed to patients. Dr. James McDevitt is the Dean of Clinical Affairs at Baylor College of Medicine, which is only counting frontline workers as 1A. Both Tarrant and Dallas County Public Health are doing the same. McDevitt says the bigger issue is a lack of communication from the state. I think the problem with our distribution strategy uh, is it's a very decentralized strategy. Some hospitals are beginning to start 1B, but all employees and all family members being on 1A means the wait list is longer for those in North Texas who are most vulnerable. These people are likely to have more severe consequences if they get COVID. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.